prove that the sum of the deviations of x sub 1 to x sub n from their mean x bar is equal to 0. Let's go ahead and go through this. So proof. So first start writing down uh, what we're trying to show just so it's really, really clear. So the claim is that if we take the sum of the deviations from each of these from their mean. So that would be something like this. It would be x sub i minus x bar. And then we're going from 1 to n. So the claim is that this sum is equal to 0. right? The sum of the deviations of you know the xi's from their mean x bar is equal to 0. Okay, so to do this, uh, what we're going to do is just we're going to write it out. So note, we have the sum of the deviations, so going from 1 to n, x sub i minus x bar. And so now what we'll do is we'll use properties of sums. We can break this up into two distinct sums. So this is the sum as i goes from 1 to n of the xi's minus the sum as i goes from 1 to n of x bar. Let's keep going. So this is equal to the sum as i runs from 1 to n of x sub i. And this is a number, this, this uh, x bar here. Basically, uh, what we can do now is because we have we have x bar plus x bar plus x bar, right? There's no i here, and we're going from one to n, so you're going to have n of these. So it's n times x bar. Here's an intermediate step that could be helpful for you to understand this. It's basically x bar, right? You plug in one, you get x bar. You plug in two, you get x bar, and you plug in n at the end, and you get x bar. So you have n of these, right? So basically, you just get minus n x bar. That's how we get this down here. Okay, so this is equal to the sum as i runs from 1 to n of x sub i minus n. And then x bar is the mean, right? It's the mean. So the formula for x bar is basically 1 over n times the sum of the xi's. We're going from i equals 1 to n. That's the definition of x bar. It's the actual sample mean. So you add up all the x's and divide by the total number. And look at this. These cancel. And so we end up with the sum. Oops, let me make it a little bit neater. The sum as i runs from 1 to n of x sub i minus, and then we have the sum as i runs from 1 to n of x i and that's equal to zero, and so the proof is complete. So it's not too difficult. Um, you just have to know what the question is asking. So the sum of the deviations of you know the x sub i from their mean x bar. So that's this, right? Basically, you're taking each data point and subtracting the mean. So it's like x1 minus the mean plus x2 minus the mean plus x3 minus the mean. So if you do that for every single x in your data set, you're actually going to get zero. Kind of an interesting result. I hope this video has been helpful in some way to someone out there. Good luck.